Hey, it's David and welcome to Make Something where every week we make a new project here in the shop and this week we're gonna make this footstool that goes underneath my desk in my office. Check it. So I don't have any plans for this footstool, but I do have an idea in my head of what I want it to look like. This is sort of a prototype and a finished piece, meaning that we're going to experiment a little bit and I'm going to make it so not everything is permanent. I can change the legs, I can change the top if I need to or want to in the future. My friend Joanne has a fabric store here in town and I got this beautiful gem right here. We're gonna use some walnut for the legs and let's begin by making the top out of plywood and experiment with some upholstery. I don't want anything permanent. I'm just going to screw this in. No glue. Cool. There is our top. Now we're going to round over the corners so when we pull our fabric and our polyfill that it doesn't have a sharp edge that it's riding against. After getting this together, there's a little bit of flex in there. So I think I'm So I have this high density foam here that is 22 inches wide, which is the width of the stool top here. And so I'm just going to cut the foam here. So I have a piece to put on top. And then over top of that, I'm going to wrap some polyfill and staple it on there. I want to keep the squareness, but I want a little bit of the rounded corners here. So I'm pulling this tight. I'm pulling the corners real tight. And I'll cut off the excess. Don't need all of that. That's looking good. So now we're going to stretch our material over that. Pull it up there. So far so good. So now I want these corners to be pretty. So if I bring this up and then fold this over this way, So far, so good. Just keep doing that. We're going to just keep stapling it on there. I'll cut off some of my excess and then we'll put another piece along the bottom to kind of clean this up. go. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. So now I'm going to make the legs for this guy out of some walnut. I got some walnut from KenCraftCompany.com. They are my local hardwood supply dealer. You can check them out. They do sell online. And like I said at the beginning, I think I'm going to make it so it's not permanent. I want it in case I want to raise it or lower it or I don't like the look, I can change it out. Again, this is a prototype slash finished product. We'll see. Maybe I like it and maybe we'll just use it forever. Maybe I won't like it. We'll scrap it. We'll try again. So we're over here in the miter saw. I thought I would try something interesting. We're going to have 45 degree miters. This may or may not work. Let's see what happens.
They're all cut at three inches wide. These two pieces have a 45 degree miter. And then this one was cut at 30 with the thought of it sticking out that way a little bit. So if I do that, that means I got to trim this guy about right there and get rid of that. And so that's going to come out around right here. So that means I'm going to push this up and then chop this off up here. And I think that'll be our leg. Then we'll have to come back and, and flatten out where they meet the floor. All right, so now those fit together. I'm gonna bring this down here to see what it looks like on the side here. And so I, I like how the front leg swings out that way a little bit and the, this is, this can fit up against the, the wall so I wanted this one nice and straight. Now I'm going to attach these three pieces then once they're attached I can come and cut that flush and so it sits on the floor. I don't have a good way to clamp this up, so I'm just gonna throw some tape on there and let that dry. I need to set the domino for a tighter tolerance on the next one that I do. Before we attach the legs to the stool, let me tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace templates makes creating a powerful online identity even easier. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of products, whether you're pursuing your side hustle or promoting your main gig. Create a beautiful website with Squarespace's all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support. And it's never been easier to set up a store and sell online. Squarespace allows you to manage your products, orders, and inventory easily. Squarespace makes it quick and simple to get you up and going without knowing a thing about code, the cloud, or servers. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash make something to get 10% off your first purchase. In our last Squarespace spot, I asked some of you to send me some of your Squarespace links and a few of you did. So check out Tree Bud Hand Cut Signs, Lucian Photography and Woodworking, 39 North Leather, and Sea Lions Creations. On January 25th, I will highlight a few more of you. So if you have a Squarespace site, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't have a Squarespace site, check out the description for the link to your free trial. Think it, dream it, make it with Squarespace. So now that we added a little chamfer profile around the edges, we're going to drill the holes on the side where it's gonna get screwed into the base. This bit drills and countersinks at the same time. And it has a little stop. After shellacking, I like to sand it down a little bit. Put a nice coat of wax. Really, really love the way wax looks on walnut. Got this clamped in place, got my feet level, and we're just going to screw it 
into the side, making sure I like my placement. I am super thrilled with the way this came out. This was my first time attempting upholstery and I could not be happier. Really like the looks of this. The fabric came from Joanne's Fabric, hashtag not sponsored. The wood came from KenCraft, my local hardwood dealer, and they do sell online at KenCraftCompany.com. I'll have a link down below to check them out. They're a family run business here in Toledo, Ohio. Good people. So. Really super simple project. This is meant to go underneath my desk in my office. So when I'm sitting back in my office chair, I can prop my feet up. Right now, the sides, they're only held on by these two screws. And when I have plans available for this, I'm gonna make a modification. So underneath, there is a board that runs along the bottom for a little bit more strength. This is plenty strong enough for my needs. I could sit, I could stand on this, but I could see over time, if you have kids that are jumping on it, or you're putting a lot of weight on there, it could get a little wobbly. So it could use some more support underneath. So when I do have plans available, I will make that modification. The three pieces here, they were joined together using the Festool Domino Joinery system. You don't have to have that. You could use pocket holes. I also have a video on how to make your own dowel joinery jig, and I'll have a link to that down below. Any one of those methods would work just fine. I finished this with a couple coats of of shellac and a coat of wax. I do have a video on my shellacking technique and I'll have a link to that video down below. So that is it for today's video. Be sure to check out that Squarespace link down below for your free trial and send me your links so I can highlight them on January 25th. We will be back next week with another new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>